So good morning. I'm Alan Banks, A-L-L-E-N-B-A-N-K-S, Police Chief here in Round Rock. Standing with me today is Williamson County District Attorney Sean Dick. Today I want to be able to give you an update in regards to the shooting that happened at Old Settlers Park on Saturday, June 15th. As I told you in my press conferences prior is that our detectives and other agencies were going to work tirelessly to take people into custody and hold them accountable. I also said that this senseless, tragic incident was a result of two parties that were fighting with each other. Today, I announced that at 0740, I was notified that Ricky Thompson, 17 years old, out of Maynard, Texas, was arrested as one of the participants in the fight at Old Settlers Park. The charges at this time is going to be aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, second degree. Mr. Thompson does not have any criminal history. He is also the subject that we were looking for in the white hoodie. Additionally, what I'd like to say is this case is still ongoing. We have a lot of work to do. We know Ricky Thompson was not the only shooter at this event. We are still looking for other suspects. We are still continuing to gather all evidence, continue to talk to witnesses, and we'll continue to do everything that we can to bring everybody involved to justice. There are more charges to come, both for Ricky Thompson and anybody else that is involved that we take into custody. And again, we will not stop until the Vic Nair family and the Duke family and the other 14 victims get the justice that they rightfully deserve. Mind you, people are going to ask, why haven't we charged with murder? Why just the aggravated assault? Please understand that we have a lot of evidence, a lot of casework to continue to do to make sure that we are getting the justice for these families that they deserve. And so as we continue to gather that information, we are working side by side with the Williamson County District Attorney to make sure that we are charging them with the right charges and holding them accountable. Seven, my understanding is the fugitive, Lone, Lone Star Fugitive Task Force picked up Ricky Thompson, and it's Ricky Thompson the third. Ricky Thompson the third. They picked him up approximately 7.30 this morning in Pflugerville. I know there was some rumors out there that we had him in custody last night. That is inaccurate information. We did not have him in custody until 7.30 this morning, or at least I got the phone call at 7.40 this morning that he was in custody. We have been in contact with the families, the Vignair family and the Duke family. We called him this morning when he was taken into custody and advised them that he was in custody. At this point, what questions do you have of myself? One quick question. If he wasn't taken into custody until this morning, what was the press conference last night going to be about? So one of my hopes, one of my hopes was the fact that it was Juneteenth yesterday. My hopes were that we were going to be able to get him or get somebody put into custody before Juneteenth or on Juneteenth. We didn't have anybody in custody, so at least I wanted to give our public and the families at least some information. It's Juneteenth. It should have been a time of celebration should have been a time that, that we as a community would remember and reflect on what's the purpose of Juneteenth. Unfortunately, we didn't have anybody in custody. But we had a great conversation with our district attorney last night, and we didn't want to compromise, nor do we want to compromise, any portion of this investigation. The integrity of this investigation is what we want to make sure is stay, that stays intact. And so that was my hope, is I was going to be able to give you some good news, or at least some news on Juneteenth. We, we decided we were going to hold off uh, until today. We did get him in custody this morning, 7.30 this morning. 
Um, this isn't a victory lap by any means. We got a lot of work to do. And I don't think anybody's joyful. I can tell you the detectives aren't in there high-fiving and chest bumping each other. This is a sad occasion. We've got a 17-year-old, a 17-year-old that's in custody right now for pulling out a gun at what should have been a, a, an absolutely amazing event, which was an amazing event until this occurred. I know it's still early at this point and there are only aggravated assault charges, but does your department believe that this person is responsible for the deadly shots? So here's what I will tell you. The question was, does our department believe that this person was responsible for the deadly shots? We have a lot of investigation to continue to do. And again, I am not going to compromise the integrity of this investigation, not for you. I, I'm worried about, and I, I, we work for the families, we work for this community, and we're going to make sure that we get the right information out, we make sure we get the right charges, and we're going to continue to work, our, work very hard to get that accomplished. And so, unfortunately, I'm not able to give you all the information. When the time comes and we're able to do that, I will get you the information that I can. But at this point, I'm going to be limited because this is an ongoing investigation. We, we had a lot of work. We got evidence that we're still going through. We still got witness statements. Um, we're still talking to victims. And so we have a lot of work to do. We are very um, grateful with the help of our, our federal, state, and other local partners, county. Um, a lot of people are pouring a lot of resources into making sure that these families get the justice they absolutely deserve. Has uh, the public provided video and photos for you guys that have, has managed to assist you in any way? So as the public provided videos, we're getting a lot of tips that have been very helpful, very useful, and I ask that if there's anybody, anybody that has tips, video, anything that can help us in this case, to please, please reach out. Please reach out. Did you police uh, gather the gun that Ricky Thompson pulled out that night? Was he was that apprehended when he was apprehended as well? So I will tell you this. We know Ricky was a shooter. But again, I'm not going to give you any more information that I can give you. I want to keep the integrity of this investigation where it needs to be. Yes, we've got a question over here. Is he, uh, can you see if he's a gang member or associated with any group that was involved in this? Well, right now... I can tell you there's no, I have no indications that he's an, a gang member. I can tell you that there was two groups that were involved in an altercation that resulted in several subjects pulling out guns and shooting at each other. That's part of the investigation. If we, um, we'll continue with this investigation. A couple Are you more questions. To look for other shooters? Absolutely. Have you identified any other suspects? Not yet, no. We are still working hard on who those suspects are. We asked the, the public or anybody who was at. Juneteenth, anybody that hears information, they hear somebody talking about it, to please reach out. We want those tips. Any good leads, we are going to uh, follow up on. Just to be clear, you don't have any descriptions like kind of how you had on Sunday I, out of any other suspects? I do not have any formal descriptions that I can give out right now. There was a lot of money kind of being offered up for any tip that led to an arrest. Did, is that going to be doled out to somebody? Did a tip lead to Thompson being arrested? So the question, I believe there's a lot of money being doled out uh, for tips. There's rewards that are out um, by several different organizations. Thank you to the governor's office. I know we have the ATF, Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, Explosives, ATF. Um, Williamson County Crime Stoppers has offered up money. And so I don't handle that. Um, those, they, they, they follow through with that, so I cannot answer that question. That's going to be up to those different agencies to figure out. We will provide them with whoever gave us tips. Our thing is, right, what we want as an agency is we want people to give us tips. Um, I'll let those agencies handle that, that portion of it. My thing is I want justice for these families, and I encourage folks that have tips, regardless if there's a, a, a payout at the end or not, we need justice for these victims and, and uh, the families of our deceased. Are any of the bystanders being investigated, or are they all, uh, any of the victims, are any of them being investigated as shooters or anything? Right now we're, we're talking to everybody. We're, we want to get to the bottom of why this happened, um, how it happened, and who was all involved. So everybody is being in, uh, interviewed. Now, um, identifying who was, who was offenders in this, that's part of our job to do. And like I said, this, this is a very complex investigation, and we want to know who all was involved um, and who wasn't. So potentially some of the victims could have been involved? 
because some of the victims could have been involved. Well, of the 14 who were injured, yeah. As far as I know, I have not got that information. Okay. All I know is there's 14 victims that had gunshot wounds that went to the hospital. Do you have the correct spelling for Ricky Thompson for our records? Ricky, first name, R-I-C-K-Y. Thompson, T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N, the third. 6-2 of 2007 is his birthday. Can you tell us? Maynard, he's, he's from Maynard, Texas. Has he been at all compliant with police officers as they detained him? Has he spoken with officers about what happened on Saturday night? So I can tell you this, Mr. Thompson was picked up by the Lone Star Fugitive Task Force at around 7.30 a.m. this morning, and he was immediately taken to the uh, Williamson County um, Jail and booked on those charges. Was Where was he picked up at? I, I will not give that information. Can you say, do investigators know at all what may have started the altercation? I, I, so the question is, do no investigators know at all what started the altercation? That's part of the ongoing investigation, and I will not compromise the integrity of this investigation. It's true that Ricky's charges could be upgraded? Absolutely. To murder? Absolutely. we still got a lot of work to do, and uh, we're, we're going to continue to turn over rocks, find uh, the truth, and find out who did what and why. Um, it's important. It's important for this case. It's important for our victims. and. The unfortunate part is the tragedy that happened here in Round Rock, and we are going to continue to work hard to make sure that we get or resolve this case for the families, the victims in this community, the families of the victims and this community. Thank you. Thank you.